welcome to part 21 of Laravel 9 tutorial in which we are creating the multi vendor e commerce website. Okay, so uh, we are going to work on showing and approving the admins, sub admins, and vendors in admin panel. So, in last video, uh, in fact, in last few videos, we have seen that uh, vendor can able to fill its personal, business, and bank details. You can see here the admin can able to fill its information and once the admin completes its information then admin can able to approve that admin can able to check that information and can able to approve so that thing we are going to do now in these videos uh, starting from this one okay so right now i have logged in with the vendor uh, okay so so these uh, uh, i can able to see uh, so uh, once again I will tell you a uh, few things uh, so that everything is uh, clear to you uh, so uh, just just let me check yeah okay so see here the process uh, like we all know uh, starting from the first video I have told you that uh, uh, vendor will come on the website okay and vendor is going to register is uh, okay or going to register on the website and a vendor is going to fill three things here vendor will uh, fill its personal information uh, vendor will fill its business information and vendor will uh, fill its bank information okay business and shop okay so after filling this information then admin will come into play so admin uh, will log in and check the vendor details check verify the vendor details okay verify vendor details and after check and verify he can approve the vendor as well approve or reject okay so this uh, so this process we are going to start now okay so let's start it and i'm going to log in with the admin now see vendors information is complete so we have filled all the information from the john account this is the john account okay you can see in dashboard as well and this is the john account john sing okay so now i am going to log out and after that i am going to log in with the john account j o h n at the rate of admin dot com password is one two three four five six and sign in and this time see uh after login sorry i need to log in with the admin account not with the john account so once again I am going to log in with the admin at the of admin dot com and password is one two five six and log in with this account. So now see it's the super admin login. We have logged in with the super admin. So now we don't have the vendor details. You can see in left sidebar we don't have any vendor sidebar. There is no links uh, of vendors like personal business. Okay, it's not there. But we are going to make new links, new tabs here uh, so that we can uh, view the vendor admins sub admins everything we, we can view super admin can view those uh, ad admin sub admins and vendors and can uh, view and uh, uh, can uh, uh, check verify the details and can approve uh, can make them active or inactive okay so uh, let's start straight away uh, we are going to uh, start working on the routes in which we are going to show we are going to make the page like uh, admin and after that admins okay we are going to page make the page like the admin then slash admins we are going to create this kind of route okay so after admins uh, we will uh, we can uh, one more slug we can pass the slug here okay we will uh, make the url uh, in web.php in our route like like this one this is the url we are going to make admin slash slug so what will come in slug in slug uh, admins can come in slug sub admins can come okay in slug vendors can come sub admin can also come in slug vendor can also come so we are going to pass the role we are going to pass the type see here is the type we are going to pass the type that whether is the type is vendor or admin or sub admin uh, and based on that type we are going to display the admins sub admins and vendors and we need to put some condition for the vendors okay so uh, we are going to work on these things uh, one by one 
so the first thing is we are going to update the admin sidebar okay so uh, we are going to add the admin management here okay admin management and user management for the admin for the super admin login super admin or admin login okay not for the vendors okay so i want to clear you this thing uh, and make sure that this one is clear to you so there are two types of login now and there is login for the vendors and there is login for the admin and sub admin uh, sorry uh, super admin and admin okay so uh, see login to admin panel login to admin so it can be uh, see vendor login and uh, super admin admin okay super admin admin or uh, super admin or admin okay admin login see sub admin have a different login okay sub admin we can also uh, see sub admin login as well okay so on all three will have the different panel okay we have we don't have the same panel for all three because the functionality differs vendor is going to do uh, uh, the uh, like uh, uh, when vendor is going to add its personal uh, bank and business details and going to add the products and going to uh, see add the categories as well so vendor will have the different role and super admin is going to approve those vendors going to approve the admins and sub admins as well so uh, super admin will have the different role as well and sub admin is going to have the assess roles like uh, uh, sub admin can manage the ad, uh, the order section only or maybe the category section only okay whatever super admin or admin will give to the sub admin so we are going to have the separate panel for vendor super admin and uh, and the sub admin so what i'm going to do i'm going to open in safari as well one more browser i'm going to use so that everything will get clear to you uh so uh, in one panel we are going to uh, log in with the vendor and in one panel we are going to log in with the super admin so that both will have the separate admin panel so here i am going to log in with uh, the vendor so that everything get clear to you so here i am going to log in with the john account john at the rate of admin dot com password is one two three four five six and here you can see the john will have the vendor details here after dashboard john will have the vendor details in which person details business details bank details will come ignore all these these are all static we are going to update and ignore all these as well we are going to remove the un unnecessary data okay so let's focus on the things that we have already done so john is going to see the dashboard and vendor details okay and but the when we log in with the super admin super admin can't see those things super admin will see the dashboard and can see the settings update password and update details as well in which the super admin can able to update the super admin edit panel password and the details as well and we you can see here vendor does not have this access setting is not there for the vendors okay so like this now we are going to have two more things here and uh, I'm going to tell you sorry uh, so two more things we are going to have and that are uh, like uh, uh, see we are going to make uh, admin management one section like for admin management okay in which uh, we are going to have admins sub admins sub admins will come and last one is the vendors okay and after that uh, we are going to have the user management as well and that also for the uh, admin all these assets are for the uh, that super admin login okay i'm going to write it super admin uh, login can see this okay and vendor can't able to see all these kind of things and here uh, we are going to have the users then subscribers okay all, all these kind of things okay so we are going to work on these things first of all admin management so let's quickly start working on this one we are going to update the sidebar 
okay uh, this one i am going to close this one my testing okay so i'm going to uh, open this sidebar we are going to update the sidebar and we are going to update the uh, not the vendor sidebar we are going to update the super admin sidebar so here we are going to make uh, one more i'm going to copy this one only and we'll paste it here and here i'm going to write admin management okay so under admin management uh, we are going to have the admins sub admins and vendors like i have told you okay admins sub admins and the last one is one more we are going to have and that is the vendors so here a uh, route we are going to make its route like uh, first one is we are going to make uh, something like admin then admins uh, and after that we are going to pass the slug and slug is the admin for uh, the admins uh, see this one we are going to pass from here uh, from the table itself from uh, the type okay so type is maybe the admin maybe the super admin maybe the vendor okay so we are sending the type here so admin so this url we are going to use i'm going to copy this url uh, or can simply update this manually okay uh, then after that admins and sub admins okay so after that the last one uh, we are going to have here admins and vendors okay so admins sub admins and vendors so we are going to check here uh, in our admin login page here we will have one more and that will be the admin management so that looks fine admin management okay admins sub admins and vendors okay so one more we are going to create okay though we are going to work on it later on but right now we can create it and uh, we will make it users management because users only the vendors can able to see and here i'm going to make the users and here i'm going to make the subscriber subscriber also if we will do okay subscribers and here i'm going to make it like the admin users this one is not required so we can make the links uh, later on like this okay these we are going to work on later on just i'm adding so this one we can remove okay so now it seems to be fine and see spaces we can move from so now we are going to check see here admin management user management okay so here you can see all and if you will go in safari if you will refresh from here uh, here, here this is the vendor login and but you can't able to see the admin management and user management because uh, this is the vendor login this is the vendor panel okay and this is the super admin login this is the super admin panel okay so now we are going to work on these uh, uh, urls these routes so for this one we are going to create one route in web.php file i am going to create one route here and uh, i am going to create that uh, for viewing those uh, vendors sub admins and uh, and the admins okay so uh, here i'm going to check like uh, view admins sub admins and vendors okay these comments are really good okay because maybe sometime we forgot that uh, why this uh, what is the working of the root okay then these comments are really useful if we forgot so here we are going to make it like get, and, uh, we are going to create the get route okay so in which we are going to have the uh, admins and admins we are going to have that uh, slug okay so here i'm going to use the type as slug so that uh, it will get clear to you and this one i'm going to make it the question mark because i make it optional because optional because uh, we can able to display all okay it will uh, you will come to know shortly that's why we have done this one so this is the uh, route we need to create to display admins sub admins and vendors in type we are going to pass that type okay uh, like the admin we can pass sub admin we can pass vendor we can pass 
if we will pass the admin then we are going to display all the admins in a page if we will pass sub admin then we are going to have all the sub admins and if we will pass vendor then we are going to show all the vendors okay and one more if we will not pass anything then we are going to show all vendors sub admins and admins in one page okay so now we are going to work on this function we have created this function in admin controller admin controller we are going to create this function okay so i am going to create this function at last see before logout we can create okay no issue we can create here before logout public function admins okay so here uh, we are going to uh, have the type as null okay type may come or may not come so if the type come then then we are going to uh, check from this uh, table okay we are going to uh, uh, the compared uh, with this type in the admins table okay so here first of all i am going to pick all the admins together like it's simple enough like admins here we can have this query admin and we can get all the admin and we will create it uh, convert it to array and then we can simply display to check whether all are coming okay so let's quickly check it we are going to click on first admin and see all the admins are coming here okay see here we are passing the type so that's why uh, see uh, because we don't have any condition right now okay we will add the condition to display the admin only and we can also pass the vendor as well then it will again come because the same result will come otherwise we will have in case of vendor only john singh vendor john singh is vendor and amit gupta is super admin so we are going to display the john singh in case of vendor and uh, if we will uh, uh, send the type as admin then we are going to display the super admin only okay so first of all we are going to work on this one so for that what we are going to do we are going to add the condition that what type is coming we are going to pass that type here okay if the type is coming then we are going to pass that type okay so for that we are going to add the if condition and uh, we are going to do one thing uh, we will do in a better way we will do in a, some good way uh, see we are going to i'm going to do one thing here here i am going to uh, make it like this and i am going to use one new thing i'm going to use the query so that uh, we can now uh, see add condition and use that so uh, we are first condition is we are going to add like uh, if type is not empty so if type is not empty then we are going to uh, work on this condition uh, so in else also we are going to add here like this so uh, this else condition uh, this type condition will only work if there is uh, if the type is coming actually okay so here uh, i can uh, copy this one okay so here i will uh, see in the admin uh, what i'm going to do see not this one i'm going to do like dollar admins uh, here i'm going to uh, compare the type where type dollar type okay so that's why i have used it like this uh, admin query because we are going to have the condition uh, here okay if the type is coming then we are going to compare uh, this admins with the type also okay uh, so in as condition we will not pass anything uh, so here also once again i'm going to use it like this uh, and this one now it seems to be fine and again cdd okay so now we are going to check uh, so i'm going to refresh now at this time and but some issue is coming here uh, we are going to check that what issue is coming actually there is uh, no super admin uh, there is no admin in the database so we will try with the super admin 
see now it is coming only super admin will come okay and now we will try with the vendor so only vendor will come so now it's working fine okay these conditions are working fine so one more thing we are going to add here see if uh, uh, see this one uh, we are going to have uh, like uh, dollar title we are going to have here uh, I'm going to do one thing here uh, like uh, if here I'm going to put the title as well uh, and in title I'm going to uh, have that title here okay so this one we are going to do later on okay once we will create the page then we are going to work on this one so right now uh, this one is coming fine admins are coming fine so we are going to uh, pass uh, return those admin uh, in the page that we are going to create now okay return view then we are going to create the page under admin and then admins and after that once more admins dot blade dot php file we are going to create and we are going to uh, return this uh, admins array okay so let's now create uh, one page inside our folder uh, resources views okay so admin and uh, here uh, we are going to uh, create Okay, we are going to create one admins folder here admins and inside this folder we are going to create uh, one files uh, file like admin uh, dot uh, blade dot php okay so in mac we need to create the file like this touch admins dot blade dot php okay if you are in windows then you know how to create the file inside the folder okay uh, then here so I'm going to open this file admins.blade.php okay so we can copy uh, its admin design from some other page that we have already having okay to save the time uh, don't do any uh, everything from scratch okay so we can have it uh, from any of the page like uh, this one we are having update admin password update admin details we are having okay so we can open any of the page and we can copy and we'll submit here and after that we can remove the unwanted content okay so uh, we are going to copy its content uh, from we we require one table we require one table structure in which we can uh, we can display all the admins all the sub admins all the vendors okay so for that we will uh, go to our template once again sky dash template we are going to open that template sky dash template that we have downloaded in the earlier videos okay after going to the sky dash template we are going to open the template then pages uh, and after that uh, we will open that template we are going to open the tables this is the basic table from we're going to copy the from this file basic table.html file okay so whatever we require the table we are going to copy we will check once after opening this one so we can uh, copy uh, this border table we can copy okay so we can copy and replace so we can make changes so we can uh, search this one border table inside this file so now uh, this table we can copy like this one uh, we can copy and replace here so we will check once that where we are going to copy and replace the plus row okay so uh, see here we are going to copy from the base table here we are going to copy like the main panel we are having so same thing we are going to copy there okay see main panel so this is the main panel we are having here so this div we are going to copy but we are not going to copy all okay otherwise uh, yeah we can copy this one div main panel and then we can uh, remove the unwanted data that we are not required and also do the html identing that is really important you can open the html formatter website and there we can 
open this one so that uh, its view gets corrected so format see adding and formatting of the html is really important so yeah this one so now it's fine so now we can copy to select all copy to clipboard then what we can do we can remove this one and we can replace it with this one okay now it seems to be fine so now it will display all uh, we can check once whether it is displaying we can refresh Nothing is visible. Uh, make sure that we have added at the right place. I think uh, I have my mistake at the wrong time. This is not the correct right? Okay, so don't do this silly mistake at your end. Okay, this is the admins This is the file where we are required to replace. Okay, so now we are going to check. Okay, so now uh, we can see we got everything here and we will only keep the border table and rest we are going to remove. So we can just simply check here like this. So border table this uh, we are going to have and this one we are going to remove. Okay, so this one we are going to have and another one we will also remove all this structure as well. Now we can check once. Okay, so now it's fine. So now uh, we will have our own details here. Uh, see here uh, instead of border table here we are going to have that uh, admin sub admins or okay. So uh, like I have told you that uh, we will we are required to add the condition here so uh, we will have the title uh, like uh, in else condition we are going to have the title uh, with uh, uh, all the admins okay sub admins and vendors everything common all we are going to display all okay all admins sub admins and vendors okay and uh, here we are going to display title and here we are going to display the type okay so uh, we are going to use like uc first then we are going to have the dollar type so let's see and this title we are going to return to that page and we are going to use this title in place of this one so let's see once refresh like this is the vendor we are going to have the vendor we will also add one more thing here uh, we are going to add s okay in last of all because vendors admins and sub admins will display okay like if we click on admins then all the admins will come here if we will click on sub admins then all sub admins will come up here okay we click on vendors then all vendors we are going to show here okay uh, check once like admins is fine sub admins uh, no 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 this is not correct sub admin uh, we need to correct it uh, this one uh, here go in sidebar and here uh, we will have the admin then sub admin then then vendor like this okay so you now it seems to be fine and also we are going to display all in case of all uh, we will not send any type we will not send slug okay so now it will be fine 
okay so like in case of all all sub admins uh, admin sub admins vendors in case of vendors okay vendors okay so like this so now we are going to display uh, here the correct information in admins dot bay dot php file okay so let's quickly display uh, whatever is coming from there uh, like uh, first one is the admin id and then the name uh, then type we are going to display after that mobile and email as well and after that image and status as well image status and action image status and action image status and action okay so here uh, we are going to add that for each loop we are having the admins array dollar admins as dollar admin and here we are going to display whatever is coming like uh, we are having that dollar admin id so we are going to pass this one okay first i am going to pass it like this and after that i am going to make changes Okay, so it seems to be fine. Few more, and uh, all this unwanted data we can remove. Okay, so now here, first one is ID, and then name, type. mobile image uh, okay uh, sorry email then image then uh, the status then after status okay status nothing will come up here so check once if we able to replace these entries Okay, we need to close uh, for each. Just simply close after this one and for each. Now check again. Okay, so now all the information we able to fetch. See vendor detail vendors. Uh, we able to get it here. Okay. So we need to display the vendors like this. So uh, one thing uh, we are going to remove this one and here we need to correct uh, like image we are going to uh, give that path of the image okay so uh, the path of the image uh, we are going to give uh, check once then what is the path of the image so here uh, we are going to add uh, image source image source asset and then asset we are having the images under admin then images then photos Okay, then the admin image will come and we are going to close this one this then close this one as well ok make sure uh, it's fine some syntax error has come as set admin images photos uh, ok sorry this one single then uh, now it seems to be fine
okay so now image is coming and after that uh, actions we are going to display uh, like uh, and also for the status and for status like if status is one then we are going to display active otherwise inactive okay and we will uh, use the uh, icon we are going to use the icons okay uh, we have the icons in our template if you are going to see uh, the icons here we are going to use these icons okay uh, so that uh, our admin will look attractive okay so uh, right now uh, we are going to display those uh, uh, like status okay status we are going to display so here we are going to do like uh, if condition at the rate of if admin status equal to equal to one then we are going to display active otherwise else inactive later on we are going to modify and will this uh, will use these icons as well okay see active okay this one is active and uh, if we will open the admin uh, see admin is not there uh, we have the uh, super admin like okay and uh, if we will make that admin okay if i am going to change it to admin like uh, if i will make it admin let's make it admin sorry If I am going to make it admin, suppose I will make it admin. Okay, so now if I will have this admin, and you are going to check, see now it is coming under admin. Okay, this one and in vendor, uh, we have we are going to have the vendor details as well. Okay, John at the rate of admin dot com. See John Singh is coming as vendor, and admin uh, this one is the admin. Okay, so we can also view all like this okay and uh, just uh, check once the personal details of john from here i want to check the john image i want to uh, update the john image okay uh, so that we can uh, check the difference there uh, we can check once like uh, if i will add anything if i will add one image like this okay so now uh, we are going to check in the admin panel here I, i'm going to refresh here see this is the image of john and this is the image of admin so both are active and if i'm going to make one of the like john account inactive from here then it will refresh and here you can see inactive and admin can able to make it active after viewing the detail so in next video uh, we are going to view the complete vendor details okay so we will give the icon to display the complete vendor details and after that we are going to work on the active inactive status we will uh, work in ajax to make the status of the vendor admin and sub admin uh, active uh, from inactive to active and from active to inactive okay so both things and also we are going to add these icons like i have displayed uh, in the next video we are going to use uh, these icons uh, once again this one uh, here these icons we are going to be using okay so stay tuned for the next video that's all for now for this video and if you have any query you can surely ask me okay then